and welcome back to this week's self-care with bear video so today we're going to start with the normal routine and it is going to be the moisturizer setting powder followed by setting spray once that's dried we are going to apply our photo finish 24 hour primer and also our photo finished 24 hour eyeshadow primer now today's look is called the soda pop i adore this look i think it's super super fun so i'll give you a quick little preview so it is an orange and yellow. It's kind of more like a sunrise, but I like to call it a soda pop. So we're gonna go in and brush out those curly whirlies through the brows, making sure that it's all tamed. And then taking our eyebrow crayon, just showing you guys that mine's a crayon and not a pencil. And then I'm gonna draw my line underneath. I explain this every week that we do it, so we'll just speed it up for you guys. But just draw the line and then fill it in as much as what you like. I try to have no gaps, but also leave them quite pale. While I had my pink hair, I didn't want to have such a bold, dark eyebrow either. Now, I hope you guys have had such a killer week and everyone is well. Don't forget that you can find a full list of the products in the description. However, you can use whatever products you guys have at home just to match the same colors. Now we're gonna go in and carve our eyebrow out. So grab your concealer and an angled brush, a flat angled brush, I should say like a really tiny one. And then follow your eyebrow and create the desired shape that you want and clean up any scraggly lines. Then take your damp mini beauty blender. It is a lot easier to maneuver around with a mini one around your eyebrow than it is with a large beauty blender and dab it out. From here, take any matte white eyeshadow powder on a thick brush and dab around the area and cover it. It's gonna use it as a setting base and also um, to make it neutral so that you're not having any color. Now we are going to go in with the Mini Breaker palette and we're gonna take the eyeshadow color number one and I'm gonna follow the diagonal line from my outer corner all the way up to my crease and then take it into the inner corner as well so I'm kind of creating like a C shape and I'm just going to use this a few times where I'm going to follow that shape C curve and blend it out while I'm there. Now I'm going to change palettes so we're going to go over to Juvia's and I'm going to take the eyeshadow color number two so it's just a deeper orange and I'm going to follow that same line so along the lower lash line to the outer corner all the way through to the crease and then blending it out. I'm trying to make this quite bold, so I will create that same C and then I'll also blend it out throughout this as well. And I'll do that around three or four times to make it quite dark and the depth in the color. I'll also make sure that when I'm doing this that I'm blending it back out so that I don't create harsh lines underneath as well. Now we're gonna swap over to another Juvia's, which is a deeper orange, and it is the eyeshadow color number three. And then from here, we're gonna run from the outer corner all the way through to the middle of the eye. And I'm just blending out in circular motions. And I'm gonna do this once again a couple of times. So starting with a little bit of color and blending it out and applying more color. It's a lot easier to blend out small amounts of color than what it is to blend out a big blob. And then you can see I am blending it out in a circular motion, but I'm taking it up higher onto my eyebrow bone as well. And then I'm also pulling it further into the middle of my eye, but I'm gonna do a cut crease, so it doesn't really matter where you put it because we're about to clean it up. So taking your concealer and then a rounded flat, so a thin brush again, and I'm gonna start on the inner corner of my eye and I'm just gonna follow the crease of my lid. So we're not gonna go the full way across, we're just gonna go just about to middle and then we'll just blend it out. So I'm taking, once again, my plain brush that has just a, any white to set the concealer and I'm just gonna blend out to make that line not so harsh. Now I haven't used this palette with you guys, but this is the Life's a Drag 
and it's by Luna Beauty. And honestly, I got this in a mystery box and I lost my marbles. You can see that in one of my vlogs. And we're gonna take the yellow that's in it. So it's the eyeshadow number four. And I'm gonna dab it on using a smudging brush. So just dabbing it and then kind of like smearing it and smudging it into the concealed area. Now from here, I'm gonna go back with the eyeshadow color number three and just blend it out so that there's no harsh lines. Take your liquid eyeliner pencil, I use the NYX, and then I'm gonna just draw my wings. Sometimes this is successful, sometimes it's not. So we're gonna start from the outer corner and draw up into the tail of the eyebrow, and then connect it from the point all the way back down, and then follow out to draw along the lash lines. See, we had some success this week with our wings. Now we're gonna jump in and we are gonna go in with a different foundation as well. So we're gonna use the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And honestly, if you've used it, you'll know that it is legit a holy grail foundation. I love it. It is amazing. I don't have any problems with it. I adore using it. And I find that when I go swimming and I have makeup on, this shit does not move and I can catfish anyone with it. But I do like to sometimes use a beauty blender. Um, but I've just found that I like the brush sometimes gives a more airbrush look than the beauty blender But we're using a beauty blender today. So make sure it is damp and then you're gonna just dab it on the face um, And then go all the way around and as you can see I'm using an end of a uh, Brush to kind of apply it because I don't have a pump or a cool little bowl to mix it all in So just keep dabbing it around make sure it's nice and even Go in with your favorite concealer, conceal under your eyes and then all the way around onto your temples. We're gonna do our T-section as well. When I'm doing this look, I am trying to create a nice diagonal line to follow my wing, except for I wanna leave a little bit of color underneath of it. So I don't wanna remove all the color that's underneath my eyes. So just play it by ear. You'll know when you have taken the right amount and when it is also a little bit too thin, but you can always blend it back out. So here we go doing the T section. So the chin, the lip, the nose, and then also my forehead. Um, I did also blend out again with my large beauty blender and a bit of foundation just to buff out any of the like white lines that I had. Now take your setting powder and bake it on and use a dry beauty blender. And I like to use the mini one. Um, and I use this quite sparingly. So that's why it looks like I'm being cr kind of crazy. Blend it out to make sure that you guys have set your whole face, that nothing is kind of left. Otherwise, you're gonna potentially smear some of your concealer as well. That was Cassette and you're walking in the background. We're having a conversation. If you can see my lips moving in a weird way, that's definitely why. Now take your eyeshadow palette number three, which is the Juvius, and just blend out that deep orange color underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the color and make it a little bit darker. I do also go back with the um, Luna Beauty palette, there it goes, and blend it out from my inner corner all the way back out into the middle. And then from there, I'm gonna go through and bronze and contour my face. So along the jawbone for the, or four up and to the forehead and temples and underneath the jaw and the chin as well. And then I'll take a tapered brush just to kind of blend it out. And I like to use a fluffy one as well to add a little bit of bronzer uh, around my cheeks too. And then we're gonna do that snatched look. Oh, get it girl. From here, grab any blush that you guys like to use. I use the Juvius. I also picked it up for like $8 while I was in the States and I think it is honestly the best product ever. We're gonna take a angled, small fluffy brush and just blend out onto the cheekbones, up around to the temples, the forehead. I love to do the bridge and tip of my nose and then onto your chin a little bit as well. Now I'm gonna take my highlighting palette and I'm gonna take my small smudging brush and I'm gonna use the highlighter color number one, which is just a gold. I'm gonna do the inner corner onto like my nose as well. And then I'm gonna take the highlighting color number two, which is just my normal frosted white. And I'm gonna run it around onto my cheekbones, just quite high onto my temples, forehead, onto the bridge of my nose again. And then I'll do my chin. 
my lip, so my little cupid's bow, and then I'm going to do the tail of my eyebrow as well, and that will just give a little bit of shimmer to this look. Now from here, like I said, I love this product. I'll always use it for everything. So it is our Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Gel. It's already got the glue in it. Grab a small precision brush, and add it onto the corners of your eyes. Add your lipstick. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my liquid lip and I live by this color. It is the Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D Cosmetics. Her liquid lips, I think they're liquid matte lips is what they're called. I can't remember, but it's honestly so good. I've been out on a night and still had this on by the end of the night, and I love it. I love the color as well. I really do need to get myself some lip liners just because it will make applying the lipstick a lot easier, and it will also help me outline my lips so I can overdraw them just a little bit. Now go through and set your face. I'll use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set. Wait for it to dry, apply your false lashes, some mascara, and then you guys are all good to go. So this is the final look of the soda pop that I did this week. Now thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this week's video, please make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up, share it around with your friends and family, and then don't forget to hit subscribe. And then guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you, bye!